Welcome back to Hallway Sports Network's Off the Track. You're Shirley Tony Hall. I'm speaking with Stinkerbell with Hurricane Alley Roller Derby. Now, um, of course, we were, we were talking about talking about your name. How how did you come up with your with your name? Um, I guess people might consider me an annoying little pest when I'm out there. Uh -huh. I like to get in people's way and just be yeah. a little stinker, I guess. Okay, that's how it came out, huh? And I like fairies. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that was that was my other guess. <laughs> now, um, now, of course, you say you're you're with the with the league for the last three years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any any um, any games that you can remember where where it was very hectic going out there? Um, I was probably scared my first game because I'd never been out there in front of people skating, just practices. Mm -hmm. But then I just. Um, I guess I kind of pretend it's like a practice. Yeah. And don't worry about the rest of the people there. So every mm -hmm. game's a little bit hectic or s scary because you don't know what's going to happen or mm -hmm. who you're going to play or what they're going to do. Or yeah, we were talking with uh, Jenny Flynn earlier about about the game against TXRG and how that how that ended up. Were you actually playing in that game with them as well? Or? Yes. Yes. Yeah. What What did you think afterward? <laughs> um, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Okay. Like, I know we lost by a lot of points, but I was thinking, oh, they're going to hit me so hard and I'm going to, like, get hurt. But they, um, mm -hmm. it's, they went by the rules and so I felt safe. Mm -hmm. And that's what I was worried about. Like. Oh, okay. Well, what do you think about, the, about that rules change that happened not too long ago? Which uh, one are you? Well, uh, not the... There's a lot of them. I know, not the... Not that revision that happened I heard a couple of weeks ago, but the, but when they did the major change from to oh, yeah just like the, only majors now yeah only majors one whistle to start uh -huh. yeah I think it just kind of made it I guess it's simplified it maybe for the refs mm -hmm. for us it's like now it's you don't have any chances now you have to just yeah like get it right or yeah. Right. You get out sooner. Yeah, so you, you have a you have a you have a worry that that um, that like maybe before it was like yeah. oh I could get four of these and four then it's a major yeah. now it's like you got a major I'm like oh because you can only get what six of them before it's you five get, is it five oh, okay yeah okay then it's a lot more strict than yeah than it used so. to be because I remember back when it used to be seven seven majors before you'd get ejected now it's just five. Well, then you can ration them out through the game. Now yeah. you're like, oh man, we're already almost out. <laughs> <laughs> we get toward the end of the game and you haven't any major penalties, so you like, commit all your penalties, huh? <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, well, how's, how has that affected the way you've played the sport? I feel like maybe you won't take as many chances as you might have. Mm -hmm. So you're playing safer and mm -hmm. it might be a little more boring for spectators because now you don't want to get a major you have to mm -hmm. be really careful yeah yeah I, I, I noticed that there was there was that big change between uh, the uh, I guess what they'd say the excitement of the game where uh, where you just willy-nilly going next to another skater just knocking her out just for the heck of it as opposed to you know, yeah <laughs> more, this, yeah I guess it was more theatrical yeah, more playing yeah. towards a crowd and it's a lot more uh, technical now mm -hmm. and more um, have you cerebral, or you have to think more. Yeah, have you encountered any kind of problems with the crowd as far as, uh, you know, with the... I feel like I've heard some comments where it's like, oh, it's not as fun or it's different. Mm -hmm. and they'd rather go watch maybe another type of derby. But, mm -hmm. but a lot of people are understanding and they're like, oh, wow, it's a whole different game. It's... Yeah. a lot more to it. Yeah, especially the ones that grew up through the 70s and mm -hmm. 80s where it, where it was purely theatrical. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, yeah, what do you, what do you think about as far as uh, where we are now with the sport uh, moving towards a, a possible Olympic bid? I think it's a good mm -hmm. good thing, positive. It yeah. makes people be more disciplined. Um, it's not like, "Oh yeah, we're just going to go and play derby and get drunk and that yeah. happens too but now it's like we have to be fit and we have to mm -hmm. be in shape and you have to know the rules and yeah it's just 
it's making people have to step up and yeah, be has better. It, has it gotten a bit more intense, or is it just a different kind of feel, a different, you know? I think it's it's just different. Mm-hmm. Still, um, still, it's isn't, more athletic now. Yeah. I feel like it's more athletic. Is that is that kind of what you were going for when you started out with therapy, or is that? Yeah, yeah. I like working out and mm -hmm. and I guess being physical. Yeah, so that's more why I was into it. Mm -hmm. So it's just an improve, in, it's just improve that aspect of it as well. And yeah, I feel like along, it's yeah. actually safer mm -hmm. because there are so many rules. It's harder to get hurt because someone's not going to come at you and throw an elbow or try yeah. to punch you in the face or yeah usually those skaters don't last and that so they long get either. out <laughs> they get out sooner you're like yeah. okay now i can breathe but, <laughs> yeah. okay okay well uh what do you think about this upcoming game on saturday against the texas outlaws i think it's going to be fun i think they're a lot i'm not sure but i think they're a little more old school where mm -hmm. they might do a few wild things but I don't feel scared about it. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, they've, they've played y'all before, so so there's a little bit of a... Yeah, so that makes are. it easier. Yeah. yeah. They're not like strangers. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll be looking forward to that game coming up this Saturday at the Hard House in Corpus Christi. The Texas Outlaws Roller Derby versus the Hurricane Alley Roller Derby, and all take place at home. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.